Let's talk about the core differences between sabas versus lavas using our dry erase templates. So we have sabas or short acting beta 2 agonists and we have lavas which stands for long acting beta 2 agonists. Now they both have the same medication class. They are both bronchodilators. If you break apart this word bronco meaning airway and dilators meaning to stretch or enlarge an opening. So this medication really helps to dilate and open the airway. You can remember this by the memory trick, bronchodilators think dilate or open. All right, the main generic name for sabas is albuterol. And the main generic name for labas is salmetrol. Many sabas and labas both end in terrell. You can see that here in this long list that they all end in the same suffix. But the thing you need to commit to memory here is the difference between sabas and labas because they can both look the same. All right, let's jump to side effects. A very common side effect of both of these medications is thrush. Thrush is a fungal infection of the mouth and it's most commonly seen when using an inhaled medication like sabas or labas. All right, now for the therapeutic uses. Sabas are commonly used for asthma attacks, where labas are used for long-term management. The memory trick you can use here is albuterol is for acute asthma attacks, and salmetrol is for slow and steady working for a long time. You can really let the names short-acting and long-acting help you in remembering the therapeutic uses. All right, now let's just brain dump some patient education. You want to be sure to educate your patient to shake the inhaler before administration and be sure they rinse their mouth with water after administration because this helps prevent that the rush. Dry erase templates like this can really help you study in nursing school and test your knowledge before exam day. You can find these templates on my shop Nurse in the Making. Happy studying future nurses.